Nos gusta mucho la salsa picosa. Entonces tengo dos chile, este, no sé si es una taza, dos tazas, más que cubre. Creates a sweet balance. Think about roasting things that always... Por eso luego se amarga, ¿no? Fíjate que no, le pongo sal, lo muelo. Listo, ya quedó. Rápido, para que no quede tan molido. So as you saw at the beginning, I've been watching and taking notes for almost a whole month, and I think I'm ready to try it in front of all of you. Let's hope it tastes good. Here in Canada, because we all live in igloos, it's really difficult to grow tomatillos, so I was forced to get them from a can. But if you can get fresh tomatillos, I heard that's the best way to go. Skipping the ingredients list this time, putting it at the bottom in the description if you want to know exactly everything that I used for this example. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm still horrible at chopping my vegetables. And, well, this is not a chopping channel. There's the tomato, here's the knife, I put the point on the board and I draw it back. So, I got myself a super handy blanket that chops my vegetables for me. That's a good deal. Let's go cook! First step of all cooking, preheat our pans. Because cooking with olive oil is getting so expensive, I bought vegetable oil. Gonna take a risk here, might die young. Because I like all my veggies and fruits roasted, yeah, during my research this week, I learned that tomatoes are fruits. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roast everything. And because roasting can take quite a while, I'm also gonna boil stuff while I do it. I'm gonna put the chicken broth into this pan and start boiling it. I'm boiling the tomatillos and one jalapeño. The YouTube señoras and abuelas made a clear point to not let that skin burst. So I'm taking these guys out of here before that happens. Apparently it makes the salsa much more sour. I'm gonna roast the garlic, take it out when it looks like this, roast the peppers, and then roast the onions. Now we let our ingredients cool down. Once that has happened, we're ready to process everything. If you have a blender, you blend it. I have a processor, I process. Then, I'm supposed to cut the cilantro. I used a towel to cut the cilantro because my towels are sharper than my dollar store knives. Now my cut cilantro and my cut onion go into the salsa. Run the onions under some cold water to get rid of a really hard onion taste. It's what the abuelas tell you to do. Taste it with homemade tortilla chips, which we made a video about the other week. Wow. Wow. Keep that. tasting it. Now you can add salt. If you want, you can add some pepper. Some people added cumin, but because I don't know how to work with cumin, I'm gonna stay away from it for now. Add some more stuff if you need it. Keep tasting it. Add your lime. Keep tasting it. Bam! And then, just for fun, sear it because some of the abuelas and señoras did it and I still don't understand really what scientifically is happening here but it does work for most salsas to just sear it afterwards there's this nice, I don't know, roasted taste to it, it's delicious so I'm gonna sear this one and see what happens serve on a platter repeat